here you see actually my, my, my mouth, my own mouth, and I'm here utilizing T-Scan to adjust a bite plane. And that's actually another uh, utilization of T-Scan. As uh, we put the bite splint in, we use the occlusal paper, we do the best we can to adjust, and then we use T-Scan to fine tune and improve the comfort, improve the bite, to really hear that beautiful noise. When we touch all the teeth together, we can see that the bite is where it should be. So you will see here, actually what I'm doing here is I'm doing a selfie T-scan. It's so simple to use that we can even do it on yourself. Of course, on regular patients, usually the dentist is doing that. There's a couple of videos here of myself. What, what you can see, for example, first I'm testing, first I'm testing maximum intercuspation. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and play this video here. You can see that as I'm biting together, as I'm biting together on the left side, you're gonna see on the right side how the timeline happens. And you can see exactly, for example, where we have more occlusal load. So in my maximum intercuspation, you see the load is on the molars. Uh, you can see that right at the beginning, there's more load on my left side molar area, not much on my bicuspid a left side on the right side is more balanced right and as i'm biting together really in one second we can see how the low distribution so i'm opening and closing opening and closing a couple of times a couple of times we do that a couple of times so we can see the reproduction of this movement of these contexts to have a better evaluation okay and now on the bottom, you're gonna see here on the videos, we have this graphic, this two-dimensional graphic that shows that as I bite, right? You're gonna see the cursor moving. And as I bite, you will see that there's a moment where teeth are touching, the graphic goes up, and there's a plateau at the top when teeth are together, and then everything drops when I open the bite, okay? When I open the bite. So it's a very nice uh, tool to evaluate maximum intercuspation. Now let's see my lateral excursion, lateral excursion. So you will see that as I move, as I move, let me pause here. So you will see here that as I move to one side, here we go, I'm biting together. So all the contacts, and then I'm sliding, I'm sliding, I'm gonna start sliding here, sliding. to the right, so you see that I'm actually touching my lateral. You see right there, I'm touching my lateral, not my canine, and I know that because I know that I have a canine, I don't have a canine guidance, I have a lateral guidance. It never gave me any problems, so that's why I, I never changed, but I can identify here easily. So imagine that I'm placing a implant crown on my lateral here, and as I cement the crown, I do the T-scan or as I screw the crown, I do the T-scan, I identify that as the patient is sliding to the right, the only tooth touching or almost the whole load is exactly on that lateral implant. So beautiful, useful information. I'm biting again, biting again, sliding again. So you can see I have very little contact on the canine as I slide and a lot of load on my lateral, on my lateral. And then on my left side, on the other side, the same thing. You see here, I have almost only guidance on my left lateral as well. So right side and left side, both only lateral guidance. Very interesting information. Look, on my left side, even worse, 100% of the load as I slide to the left is on my lateral, is on my lateral. A little bit on the central, and if I squeeze I can touch a little bit the canine and then back to full occlusion, back to full occlusion. Slide to the right and slide to the left. You do that repeatedly a couple of times so you can identify the pattern, you can identify the pattern. Let's see my protrusion, let's see my protrusion. So as I'm biting here, as I'm biting, sliding forward, let's see. now. I bite together, bite together, and now sliding forward, sliding forward, and there we go, you see I'm touching beautifully. I have a nice protrusion. If I don't have a nice canine guidance, at least 
the protrusive movement is pretty good. As I'm sliding forward, the load is distributed among my four anterior teeth, among my four anterior teeth, very nice. And as I go edge to edge, as I go edge to edge, I have both centrals touching, both centrals touching very nicely. And I can slide back, bite all the teeth together again, very good. Slide forward again and see if the pattern will repeat. Four teeth, you see four, and then the two centrals touching together. So again, imagine, imagine that we have here, imagine that we have here a restoration that we just did, a crown that we just did on the central. And as we use T-Scan, maybe we don't identify these things on the occlusal paper, but with T-Scan becomes very clear that as we slide, we did a good job adjusting the palatal side of our crown. So the crown and the natural tooth are sliding together, are touching together on the protrusive movement and edge to edge all the way, I can see that happening. So I can do that several times repeatedly, repeatedly. And here I'm doing on the night guard. So what we see here is actually the night guard being adjusted with T-Scan. And you can see very nicely how I was able to adjust my night guard in a way that the load distribution is pretty equal. That's great, that's great. And the center of forces, as you see here on this red dot here, is right in the middle where it should be. So I did a great job adjusting my night guard, okay? So this is my suggestion to you. If you work a lot with restorative dentists, dentistry, full mouth rehabilitation, uh, T-Scan is a great device to help you speed up the process facilitate the process, generate more efficiency on bite adjustment. Uh, this will impact longevity as we know, this will impact patient comfort, uh, and this will generate also a lot of perceived value because the, all these images are shown on the big screen to the patient. So he can really appreciate the amount of effort that we are doing to equilibrate their bite. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, see you next time.